When code is merged, bugs and errors will be propagated. This can be very dangerous because these errors come from nowhere. We create them ourselves. Deploying the code for every new bit of work is the right thing to do. Do not believe those saying that product quality will decrease. Trunk-based development. Hello everyone. Very often we see developers doing the following. They create a separate branch in the feature branch repository which holds the main code base that is being developed. At some point, they merge this branch into one of the productive branches and then deploy the whole lot. What does this mean in practice? It means that when developing different functions, developers work with multiple versions of the code. One version is used to develop task number one and it doesn't show task number two. And the other version is used to develop task number two while task number one is missing. This also means that when code is merged, if there are any bugs or errors, they will be propagated and will need to be dealt with. This can be very dangerous because these errors come from nowhere. We create them ourselves. Another consequence of such behavior can be the following. When you deploy a large piece of code, you create a certain number of places where potential bugs can appear. Instead, you could have dealt with these errors earlier in the process of daily deployments and usually these are minor errors and can be fixed instantly. You deploy a big chunk of code and immediately you put the team in a position where they have to be ready to debug a lot of issues. Moreover, it can take weeks to receive feedback from the product about the errors occurred from the moment of writing the code to the moment of its deployment. Meaning that everyone has already forgotten what has been written and the debugging process becomes even more frustrating. So how should it be done? Deploying the code for every new bit of work is the right thing to do. It makes you test the important parts. It makes you build settings that turn on or off some piece of code during deployment. It can be, for example, a setting. It can also be a hidden or a masked element in the interface that will activate a new, not yet deployed feature. And this brings your code to the always releasable state. This is not magic, nor is it a miracle. It's not a voodoo practice either, and it is not going to happen by itself. You will eventually get to it, only when you start doing tests and when you begin to get used to this work mode. But the path you take is important. It will greatly improve the product quality and it will almost completely solve the problem of merge conflicts. On top of that, if your code review process becomes automated, in a way that it is done in pair programming mode even before the commit, you will become a step closer to having an elite development team. How can you automate it? For example, you can have a piece of code that will be responsible for checking the distribution of workload on the processor or the amount of RAM being consumed. And you don't deploy releases that raise these values above a certain limit. Do not believe those saying that product quality will decrease. You can find more details in my video about Dora and in the book Accelerate. Also check out the State of DevOps reports. That's it. Thank you all. Goodbye.